welcome to my channel. My name is Adia Shani. Here on my channel, I review fragrances, sometimes do makeup and hair. But today I'm going to be reviewing my Bond Number no. 9 collection. So if this is your first time here, thank you for joining. If not, welcome back. I have about six fragrances. I'm going to go over some of the notes and then tell when and where I wear these fragrances to and how they perform on me. So if you're interested, please stay tuned. <laughs> channel again I am Adia Shani be sure to like comment and subscribe to my channel I would really really appreciate it so I just celebrated my birthday on Saturday this past Saturday today is Tuesday and I made 39 Okay, anyway, I wanted to um, come on and show a gift that I got from my husband. It's not an unboxing because, of course, I already opened it. I was very curious to see what it is, but I did want to share it with you. So, this is what I got. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and open it up and show you. So, these come with a bag that you can uh, keep your shoes in. And then also here in this little bag, it is um, the uh, bottoms of the shoes. Cause you know, when you're walking in rocks or concrete or something, it eats up the little, there you go, bottoms of your shoes. So they also come with an extra pair of those. Okay, and here are my gorgeous shoes. And I'm so happy he got this color. Da, 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 da. They're the nude ones. Oh, let me take that out so you can actually see. Now these are the ones. Now they, I have tried them on my foot. Um, the lighting is off over here, if you could see. But anyway, I have put these on my feet. Um, and you do have to break them in um, because they are tight here. And it's recommended that you go up a whole size or half size. Well, I regularly would wear a size eight in like regular heels, but these are a nine. Yeah, we bought these in a nine. So it's recommended that you go up a whole size um, when you're buying your Louis Vuitton. Okay, so anyway, that was my uh, one of my gifts that I got from my husband, and I absolutely love these. I actually cannot wait till we get to go out and enjoy things without so many restrictions. So I can so my first fragrance is going to be Broadway Nights. Okay, and this is a floral. Some of the notes that's in Broadway Night are green, violet, rose, vanilla beans, musk, sweet amber. Cedarwood, aldehyde, honeysuckle, iris, and heliotrope. This is a sweet, smooth, powdery, yet sparkling scent. Um, kind of like um, a champagne sparkly note in here because I always was like, kind of reminds me of water. It's kind of aquatic. And I was trying to figure out what it really reminded me of. And I was like, oh, you know what? It does, it's like champagne, it's like a sparkly champagne. But um, this one here, you can get a good six, seven hours out of it and then it turns into a skin scent. Um, you can definitely still smell it on yourself, but other people will probably have to be into your, in your bubble or close to you in order to smell this. Now this pools great in the spring and summertime. Um, that's when I wear this. I have not worn it in any other months, but you know, of course you wear it since whenever you want to, but this does great in the, in the heat. I love this one for spring and summer, especially summertime when it's very, very hot. This performs well, it's powdery, it's sweet. It makes you feel like you're fresh, um, in the heat. And I love this scent. And again, this is Broadway night. Okay, my next fragrance is one that I recently wore um, uh, when we went out for my birthday. Uh, I consider this scent a very elegant, sexy scent. I find that you should wear this um, on special occasions, but you know, you wear it whenever you want to. And this is New York Nights. I'm trying to get the 
you can see the bottle all right and this one is a unisex scent and i believe it smells good on both both men and women of course i love it on myself um i love the caramel note in this fragrance it is absolutely gorgeous i'm gonna read a few of the notes in here uh, or jasmine gardenia carnation patchouli sandalwood marine accord coffee and caramel uh now this is a very warm sexy sweet fragrance like i said before it's elegant it's sexy uh and again the caramel and the coffee note together in here is absolutely gorgeous this is a beautiful fragrance i love it um this fragrance to me i only prefer to wear it on special occasions but if i woke up one day and i'm like you know what i want to smell sexy i want to smell elegant and i'm just going to work or going to the store or i want to put myself in a better mood or whatever i would definitely spray this one this one is one of my favorite bond number nine scents um this is probably my best bond number nine scent that i have currently i love this fragrance it's very special to me for special occasions this is something that if i'm going to put on a little black dress and put on a red lip and go out with my husband throwing me some bad heels this is definitely what i would wear and this again is broad and this again is new york nights Okay, so my next fragrance is Nuke's Dinoho or Nuit Dinoho. Um, I'm not really sure which one is the correct pronunciation of it, but this is here. And this one is, uh, the first two were the 1.7 ounces, I believe. Yes, and the this one is the 3.3. Yeah, this is the 3.3. Now, again um well i don't think i mentioned this to you all but if i uh find a great deal on bond number nine fragrances versus me getting the 1.7 or the 3.3 ounce if i find a good deal i'm gonna get the 3.3 ounce um the only bond number nine fragrance that i actually pay full full price for is going to be my new york nights and that was before i knew better <laughs> that i could get these at a steal you just have to search for them and I'm a, of course you have to make sure they're authentic but um yeah so newts de noho or nuit de noho well i really love this fragrance and this is uh considered to be a fruity floral gourmand scent and um some of the notes in here i know are jasmine sheer patchouli and um creamy vanilla that's it now this scent here uh i really love this is my second favorite scent this one right here was kind of in the back of my mind my sister was the one who was telling me about this fragrance and um i was searching for a bond number nine fragrance to add to my collection and she kept talking about this one and she has good taste but i was just like um i don't know if i want to get this one but i kept coming across this one at a really really good price then i was just like you know what let me go ahead and get it now when i first sprayed it all i smelled was patchouli and i was just like I don't know if I like this. Okay, so, and that was just off a of first, first snip, okay? So then the next day I decided, you know what, I'm gonna put it on, I'm gonna wear it all day. And I oversprayed it and oh my goodness, I fell in love. So this scent here, the patchouli, the jasmine, it is beautiful, beautiful together. Then you get that little sweetness in it, which is the vanilla, but those are the three main scents, uh, I'm sorry, three main notes in this fragrance, and it is beautiful. Now, for me, this is a signature scent. I love this. It is, to me, it's sexy, it's kind of regal, it's not super sweet. It's something that I think will draw attention to you, and people are like, oh, you smell good, and things of that nature. It, it's really, really nice scent. Um, for longevity on this one, a good eight plus hours. Um, I would wear this any time of the year, to be honest with you, because this is a really, really good scent and it can go for any time of the year. And I love it. And this is Nuit de Noho or Nuit de Noho. Okay, next is a fragrance 
um this bottle is absolutely gorgeous this is signature scent Ooh, the light if you can see how beautiful this bottle is and this one is also a 3.3 ounce and like i said when i find them at a steel i'm gonna get the larger larger bottles okay but um this one is considered to be a um unisex fragrance as well i think i said that already but um the notes in here are oud extract rose tonka beans and musk now um when i first wore this the beginning of this fragrance is it pulls very masculine to me mm, this smells so good it does it pulls very masculine to me now as it starts to begins to dry down oh okay <laughs> as it begins to dry down it um becomes very erotic and seductive and it also um and i believe that's the ooze that kind of pulls masculine in the beginning of this fragrance then uh later on it becomes very fresh and then later it becomes yummy and you begin to smell the rose and then the um almond and the caramel which i believe is from the tonka bean in there but this fragrance here it is definitely unisex because like i said in the beginning it pulls more masculine but later on on the dry down you begin to smell that rose and then you begin to smell the tonka bean you get a little almond caramel scent in there um i would definitely not over spray this now this one right here this baby lasts all day long i'm talking about until you go and take a bath will this one remain on you now like i said before this one right here is very sex sexy erotic and seductive so this fragrance i would not wear this in the daytime unless i'm going on a you know a date during the day or somewhere where i'm dressed up and um with my heels and a beautiful dress on then i would wear this but other than that, I feel like this is a great date night scent. And if you are looking for attention, this baby will definitely give you the attention that you want and you need or that you are looking for. And again, this is Signature Scent, a bond number 9 to 3.3 ounce. Okay, next I have Perfumista Avenue, another gorgeous bottle trying to see if you can get that beautiful fuchsia that we have here okay. and this one is considered to be a floral woody oriental and some of the notes are uh davina or davina nutmeg saffron red plum rose oil rose water peonies or peonies jasmine patchouli sensual musk modern amber and uh, mate now um this scent here i'm just gonna say that this scent is not for the light at heart okay um you have to be a baddie to wear this and to pull this off you have to be a very confident woman or man <laughs> to wear this and pull this off now the rose in here beautiful you're gonna get the rose um in here during the first four hours okay um now the rose to me valentine's day roses those beautiful red roses this is what the rose smells like in here um and i know everybody know what those valentine's day beautiful red roses smell like that's exactly what the rose in here smells like and like i said before you're gonna get that rose for four hours straight now afterwards on me this turns musky okay very musky musky scent this scent here this fragrance here is just totally different and i have absolutely nothing in my collection like this it is not sweet at all but it's the rosy sweet like a, a pure rose like if they could take a real rose and put it in a bottle, that's what this smells like. It doesn't smell like a, a phony or a fake rose. It's a beautiful rose 
scent. But like I said, this right here is not for the light at heart. To me, this is a beautiful, gorgeous, unique scent. But after about four hours, it does turn musky on me. Now, when I wear this, I do not spray a lot of it. And I will only wear this in the cooler months or at nighttime because of how it turns musky on me. And I would not want to be it to be hot and then have that musk come out of this scent because I don't think that, that would smell too good. But anyway, um, I love this rose in here. It's beautiful. I actually really do like this scent. And like I said, this is something that I would wear more in um, colder months or cool nights. Uh, something of that nature, but Perfumista Avenue I have Chinatown okay. And uh, it's pink on this side and then it's uh, the white and pink flowers here and Pink and white flowers here. Okay. Uh, now this is considered to be a floriental scent This is sweet and spicy. Some of the notes in here are peach blossom bergamot gardenia honey Sweet tuberose, peony, orange blossom, patchouli, cedar, warm, and soft vanilla. Okay, so when I uh, first smelled this scent, I was just like, this smells like something. And I was trying to remember what it smelled like. And I remember my parents used to uh, get these incense. They were the strawberry kind. And they came in this purple-like cardboard kind of like uh, packaging. Um, and it had an Indian on it, and I do not remember the name of it. But the strawberry, when I first sprayed this, I was like, oh my gosh, it smells like a strawberry incense. And the strawberry, it doesn't have strawberry in here, but it's just like a prominent, like, this smells like strawberry, like you can smell it. It smells so yummy to me. So in the beginning, I get the gardenia, and then later on, I get a peach note. And the peach note in here is absolutely beautiful. It is very... It's just so pretty um, and it is just a yummy yummy fragrance and then later on on the dry down it's like it's creamy and again yummy <laughs> um, anyway I love this I love this scent and this baby here will give you eight hours plus as well majority of bond number nine the bond number nine fragrances I own have great longevity um, on them and but this one here I love and this is a scent that I would wear any time of the year, to be honest with you, because I love that gardenia, I love that peach, and then I love that strawberry note that I get. Even though strawberry is not in here, it's just like a strawberry incense note that I get. It's creamy, it's spicy, it's sweet, it's beautiful. Now, I, re I know this baby's going to really show off in the cooler months because I'll be able to, able to overspray her but I don't overspray right now when I do wear her I give about three sprays and I am out with this baby but this is Chinatown ball number nine and this is a 1.7 ounce and I love Okay, well, that is the end of my Bond Number no. 9 collection. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you later. Bye.